Kroger, known more commonly as Fry's or Smith's, and Albertsons, more commonly known as uh, Safeway, announced their intention to merge. These companies are two of the largest grocery store chains in the country and they are among the top six employers in the state of Arizona. We've been to Yuma, Prescott, Kingman, Sierra Vista, Tucson, two sessions in Phoenix. We were most recently in Green Valley to gather information about what Arizonans think about this. You know, we're less than 50,000 people here in our city, and you know, close to 47,000 people. Can one grocery store take on that load? I don't think so. Um, that would definitely be an issue when it comes to supplies. Um, there are concerns about already the lack of uh, access to fresh produce. Um, you do have to drive um, to be able to get to grocery stores in our community, and um, there are concerns that this merger would have an impact on that. And I saw when Safeway bought bonds, that they closed a lot of stores. Albertsons was here for a long time. And when they bought Safeway, they closed the Albertsons. And I keep seeing this all the time with all these, with all my customers coming through and just struggling to make ends meet. And these prices just basically, their bills doubling. And I'm worried that this merger is gonna make that even worse. And from my perspective, you can't let it happen. You have to protect the people that you're responsible to. I know they're making money. I don't know if they get me in trouble or not, but they are making money. And it kind of upsets me to see that they're not passing on the savings to the, the consumer. Don't experiment with our lives. We are people and we have feelings too. Don't let them do that. The senior, which is a vulnerable population, uh, would be very hard hit because of the drivability to that one safe way. Um, and, and it didn't affect me so much because I could drive to the fries, but I know there's probably uh, a lot of seniors because they live in the older homes that, that may not be, they may be un unable to drive anymore. And, and so now what do they do? They take, do they take a cab to go to the grocery store? Do they rely on friends? The people that are there at the Safeway there have been there for a number of years and you can go and talk to them. Some of these are your neighbors and friends. And so yes. if you need to talk to a manager, you kind of know who that manager is. Yes. So you can talk to them to find out what your needs are. Mm -hmm. A lot of seniors in our community need that personal touch. The indigenous community and, this, and the Hispanic community are going to really be hurt. Um, and right now, as far as Walmart goes, it's way over busy. And if we would um, close the Safeway store, or one of the Safeway stores, I don't know how it could be handled with, with the amount of um, business that Walmart already gets in this town. How important are these grocery stores in terms of the jobs that they provide? Usually coming out of high school or in high school, uh, jobs at you know, your, your convenience stores or your grocery stores are uh, and your restaurants and your fast food uh, establishments are really your your primary place for those jobs to occur. Thankfully, we protect all of our employees, but the closest store we have is Springerville. Um, if either one closes down, uh, it, whether it be Pine Top or Sholo, they're going to have to move one or the other, and we can't sustain all those employees over here or over there. We would be crushed if our Safeway were to close. Now, we pay a little more, though, because we only have one grocery store. I wanted to come not knowing what this would be, but to vehemently uh, oppose any type of major by two significant grocery store change, chains that would then provide a monopoly. Uh, there's no reason why prices couldn't keep going up if you were the only grocery store in the area.